we've sold thousands of lots to people willing to exchange on the day and complete within 28 days. Property auctions made quick, easy and simple. Clive Emson Land and Property Auctioneers. Yes, hello everybody. We are back for a very special feature lot show for you. Hopefully by now you've seen all 131 lots going under the hammer in the Clive Emson May auction. If you haven't, we've done a, a series of videos. So the first one was lots 1 through to 49, then it was 50 through to 99, and then 100 through to 131. Three separate videos. They're all on the Clive Emson YouTube channel, Facebook page, and Twitter as well. So do go back and watch them, check them out. The main source of information, though, is at cliveemson.co.uk if you are interested in registering your uh, registering a bid or just getting involved or finding out more and doing your research, head over to cliveemson.co.uk. Now, uh, we've been doing these feature lots for a while now, and they're an awful lot of fun. It's where we take the chance to deep dive into one particular lot chosen, especially by uh, one of the auctioneers. And of course, we've got Paul Bridgman with us as well. Paul's been, uh, well, Paul, you're always with us, aren't you, actually? Yeah. We just can't get enough of you to be honest. We always want you back. Can't get rid of me. I can't get enough of me. I'm not sure which. I'll let you decide that one. <laughs> um, and, and as we know, of course, Homes Under the Hammer can never get rid of you either, can they? Because you're always yeah. popping up on there too. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, I a little bit of a, a, little bit of a, a dry spell in terms of being on Homes Under the Hammer, but I'm back. Um, <laughs> I filmed two recently, which is, uh, which is nice. Um, obviously, the auctions are online now, so it's not that they're not filmed as in the auction. So they actually invite us around to the property and, uh, and do a little piece um, at the property now. So it's, it's, it's good fun. It's good fun. Fantastic. Now, we won't leave people uh, dangling too long. Let's go uh, and tell us, everybody, which lot have you chosen, Paul Bridgman? OK, um, I have chosen uh, one that's just a little bit different. Um, it's uh, a nice little uh, lo low value lot. Uh, it's in Essex. It's uh, the studio at uh, Buckingham Court, the close uh, Great Dunmo with the uh, the Fitch town of, uh, of Great Dunmo. Um, it's, uh, I say, at Buckingham Court, it's a, it's a storage room. It's a, uh, a studio. It's a, it's not a lot more than that, really. Um, but yeah, so we'll have a look at the video and uh, let us know what you think. Absolutely. It is a cracker, isn't it? Guide price from just £10,000 plus. That's right. Uh, but how, yeah, absolutely. Let's have a look at the video. We'll come back and talk about it some more. Hello, we're here in Great Dunmo to have a look around this property for auction. It's coming to auction with Clive Emerson in May auction. I think it's one you're really going to enjoy having a look at. So let's go have a look inside.
Right, now if there's one word to describe that property, for me, it's charming. I mean, it is delightful, isn't it, Paul? Small's another one. <laughs> Do you know, it's actually slightly bigger than I thought it was going to be, actually, believe it or not. <laughs> no, it, it, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, it, it, it's a... Well, it's a, it's a store. There's no other way of putting it. You know, that's what Put it that is. Picture on. Um, so there it is. Yeah, that's right. And uh, as I say, it's um, you know the, uh, the the development there. It's a, a beautiful old Grade Two listed. Um, uh, some manor houses all converted into flats and that sort of thing. And other residences all around it. So it's a really nice, uh, really nice uh, development, Buckingham Court. Um, as I say, just south of uh, Great Dunmo Town Centre, so good access to the um, A120, and uh, which leads on to Stansted Airport, Braintree, and all the, all those areas. You've got you know, restaurants and bars and all those recreational facilities in the in the town there as well. So, if you were able to obtain some kind of planning, then it would be great. Now, I'm not saying you definitely ought to get planning for it, you know, it, but if you could turn it into a, you know, a really funky little um, studio um, Airbnb type place. And what you know, what great little place that would be. Um, and yeah, it's it's it, you know, charm is a good word, you know. It, but you know, other than that, it could be you know a, a hobby room or who know, who knows. Um, I, I said the, the guy that used to own it um, sadly passed away, um, and uh, he lived in the flats and he used to run <laughs> electrics from his flat into the uh, <laughs> into the uh, the room there. So there's no electrics or services connected to it at the moment um so it is what it is but yeah like i said i think it's one that's going to create really good interest at auction um because it's just you know, they don't come up like that very often they're just you know it's not what you see very often it's it's appealing because it's it's worth having a bid isn't it do, do you know what i mean like it, it's worth having a go because you know you could come away with something incredible you uh, could yeah. but you go to, to whatever level you're comfortable with and location we, we often talk location 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 it's a bit of a cliche to say nowadays <laughs> isn't it but it is so so true and being close to stanstead as well i'll tell you something you'll never have you'll it will always if you do turn manage to turn it into a little airbnb it'll always be full constantly that yeah stanstead. no I'm, I'm sure like i said i mean it, it, like it's subject to you know planning permission and all the necessary yeah. um uh consents being obtainable and uh as i say it's uh there's no guarantees of that um and, and that's because obviously the price is what it is um and you know there's uh, issues with parking you've got to overcome that because there's, there's no parking um on the uh you know allocated for the uh for, for the studio yeah. There. Um, so yeah you know it, it, it's a, it's a cute little lot full of intrigue um i the, you know there's been a great number of people looking at the video already um, there's people booked in for the viewings, so yeah, I, I think it's going to be one that's going to generate really good interest, and uh, as I say it'll be a, a really nice, uh, really nice story to get that one sold. It certainly will, uh, and don't forget if you do want to find out more about Lot 75 or any of the 131 lots going under the hammer, uh, cliveemerson.co.uk. That is your hive of information. There's a few ways you can get there as well. Uh, number one is you can do it the old-fashioned way and type out www.cliveemerson.co.uk. But yeah, we don't really do that in this day and age. Uh, there is a link in the body of this broadcast, wherever you're watching it. It says beautiful catalog here. Uh, next to it is a link. Just click that. It takes you straight through to the website. Or if you're feeling ultra, ultra modern, there's a QR code on your screen as well. Get your phone out and just give it a scan. It will take you straight through as well. We'll just leave that up for a moment to give you a chance to get your phone out. Uh, the thing is, Paul, there's so many different lots, isn't there? You've got million pound lots in yeah. this auction. And you've chosen one that's uh, a guide price from £10,000. That's it. it just goes to show um, there's something there for everyone and uh, that you know there really is you know uh, everyone's looking at you know property and what comes up and what what it could be and uh, as we've said before yeah it's a great dinner conversation it's uh, homes under the hammer it's you, you know everyone you know is, is obsessed with, with with property and what you could do with it um, so I just thought I'd go the other end of the spectrum really and uh, it's not saying this is better than any other lot it's just drawing attention to the auction in general and uh, you know hopefully people will then look at the website and they might find something else they like not necessarily this one well one thing we always like to do is find out a little bit more about our auction is as well uh, we're all just people at the end of the day aren't we and i have to say everybody at clive emerson they are lovely people. they really are i know i know it's it's you know i'm not paid to say it either uh, they are really really nice people you're going to see the rest of them in the other feature lot shows hopefully you've already seen the, the previous feature lot shows if you haven't they are still all on 
the Clive Emerson auction is. Just bear in mind today, uh, just look at it. If you're looking at the March auction show, you won't be able to bid on those lots. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bear that in mind. All right. But if you just want to have a little nose around and, and poke around, then, then feel free. But to any of the previous auctions, they're, they're gone, done. All right. This is the May 2023 auction only <laughs> okay so, just yes, yes. Um, so what do we want to know paul i want you to tell us a funny auction story that you have been involved in a funny auction story uh, well i've always said um I'd, I'd love to write a book about the experiences yeah, yeah. of what we've seen what's gone on over the years whether anyone else would find it funny i don't know but i mean you know i talk to other auctioneers and, it, and they say you know i can't believe that's happened or this happened i mean i've got so many stories from over the years we've had you know bomb threats where you know the venue Lovely. have ended up signing contracts in the rain on people's backs and i mean this was quite a while ago we had one up at haydock racecourse where um, yeah they literally the fire alarms went off they cleared the room people wanted to keep bidding we were almost continuing the auction going down the stairwells two guys carrying on bidding and, the, and we finished off the auction in the car park at my boss's um this was before i was at clive emerson it was much more professional now um but uh we finished the auction out my, my out of my uh out the auctioneer's volvo out the back of his car um oh, yeah. signing contracts in, in it was lashing down with rain up at haydock park all i can see um, now is a little flat cap sheepskin coat right i've got a keys here <laughs> for uh, a load of auctions yeah yeah um <laughs> And uh, yeah, it says, and these were the days, of course, when we used to be able to take cash deposits as well. So wow, people are counting out cash in the car. It was, it was, yeah, carnage. Um, we've had. Um, I've, I, I went to a repossession once, and it was a, a, a flat in a, mar a marina complex. Went into the flat, and it was set out like a show house. It was absolutely stunning, and I thought, this is, you know, this is a little bit odd. You know, it just feels too good. Yeah. It was all good until you tried to move anything. Everything wow. was the, the glasses were uh, glued to the coasters, which were screwed to the table, which was nailed to the floor. No. Everything was you know, absolutely. Every, I mean, they'd, they'd taken. I mean, it needed to be ripped out, but everything in there was stuck down, screwed down, nailed down. You couldn't oh, move anything. Word. It was. Um, but the one story that I, I do always tell, um, and I'm sorry if you've heard it before, uh, but um, there was a day that someone threatened to come and shoot me. No, I've never heard this one. It doesn't sound very funny. <laughs> well, it was funny for everyone else who was watching. Um, but uh, so I say, I, we had a, we had this property um, up, up um, in, in Scotland where I used to sort of um, do auctions up there. And um, I we got this instruction in, and a guy swore, swore that he still owned it. Um, and we said, well, you, you don't. We were selling on behalf of the, 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 the building society. Um, but he was adamant that he still owned it. Um, and he said, if you offer that property, I'm going to come and shoot you. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. Bye. Yeah. Anyway, the phone calls kept coming. Are you going to offer that property? Yeah, I'm going to come and shoot you. So you start getting a little bit unnerved wow, about it. Yeah. I, phoned, um, I phoned the police and they said, oh, yeah, they, they don't worry about it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Anyway, um, I then got photographs of dismembered bodies sent to me. I had um, I, I had uh, a plan or a map of where my body was going to be buried. What the? Whoa. <laughs> um, on the morning of the uh, the auction, I'm walking to the venue. My personal mobile rings. The guy's got my number. Are you going to offer that property? If you are, I'm going to. I've got my gun. I'm on my way. I'm going to shoot you. So wow. yeah, I, you know, you get a little bit freaked out at this point. So I went to the via the police station, and they said, "Don't worry, we know we, it's known to us. We'll we, we'll sort it out." Yeah. Um, anyway. I got to the venue. I literally got around ten minutes around the corner, uh, and the um, there were two police cars outside, uh, heavily armed police guards <laughs> um, wow. with guns and everything outside. Two more in the room. Three more plainclothes officers in case anything else kicked off. They said, "Don't worry, just go and get on with your job." If it, anything kicks off, don't we'll worry. There's like six coppers with guns walking around and, and a death threat on your head. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We'll, <laughs> we'll stick him in the car. We'll take him away. It'd be no problem. We had no problem on registration that day, getting ID from people. I tell you that. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, anyway, I got to the got to the lot, started offering it. Um, I, you know, I was a little bit nervous. Got to be honest. Looked down, uh, there was a red dot on my chest. Um, so you know, hit, hit the floor and thinking, what the hell is that? Um, and then there's laughter in the auction room, and I'm thinking, what's going on? So I sort of poked my head up, had to explain to nearly 500 people what on earth was going on. Um, and my colleague, uh, who will remain nameless for the, uh, no. uh, <laughs> had one of those laser pens. And he oh, said to the no. police, do you think it would be funny 
if I shone that at him? And uh, they said, yeah, it'd be hysterical. You're joking. So what, no. this, this, that is awful. Did this guy <laughs> ever turn up? Um, he did. They t- they, he turned up, they put him in the car, took him away. And he had so a he gun had, did, jacket. He had a gun? He had a gun. So yeah. it was a legit, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my word. Yeah, jeez. Maybe we could turn uh, this into a TV set, a TV series. I was going to say this is like a drama. I, I thought I wanted a funny story, not one where I'm like on the edge of a seat panicking. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone else thought it was hysterical. I mean, I, I, it took me a little while to get my sense of humour back over. I've got to be honest. Well, you've you've, you've clearly got it back, and, and no. uh, I have to say, Paul, I'm very glad you did go visit the, the police station <laughs> that day, and, and they were there. So, um, uh, yeah, and I tell you, what, I wouldn't want to be the person who bought that uh, property though. <laughs> <laughs> it sold, it sold it sold very well, yeah. But um, yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, as I say, different different time in auctions then. But um, yeah, it was, yeah. There's, there's, there's plenty of funny stories from. So watch out for the book. <laughs> uh, I tell you so, that is going to make a very good read indeed. Uh, Paul, thanks so much. We'll let you go. I know you're a busy, busy man with the auction, uh, of course, coming up. Bidding goes live when, Paul? Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So all the lots of Dale live you can you'll see. Um, bidding goes live on Tuesday, the second of May. From that point, you can bid. You can make your proxy bids. You can jump ahead with the bidding. You can do all you want. Um, uh, you can follow it yourself and, and, and bid whenever you want. Um, and then the, 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 all the lots will end from eleven o'clock. Lot one, eleven o'clock on uh, Thursday the fourth. Um, we're slightly out of kilter this time because of the uh, bank holiday. So Thursday the fourth at eleven o'clock, lot one ends. Uh, then lot two, three minutes later lot uh, three, another three minutes later, and so on and so on, right the way through to the end of the auction. Slight change to that is if someone bids in the last five minutes, the time will extend to give everybody fair chance to come back and make an increased bid uh, to make the, the system as fair as possible. Um, so yeah, happy hunting, and I hope you find uh, something that uh, is of interest to you. And uh, Any questions at any point, pick up the phone, give the team a ring, that's what yeah. we're here for. Absolutely. Very well said indeed. Uh, so that was feature lot 75 going under the hammer in the Clive Emson May auction. Got a lot more coming up for you as well. Uh, stay tuned to the Clive Emson social media channels at Facebook, Twitter and YouTube to make sure you don't miss any uh, well, any of the action. I was going to say there seems to be plenty of action, doesn't there, Paul, with you? <laughs> I mean, I'm just glad you're here and safe uh, these days. Maybe I should have told the one about falling down the stairs. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. I think that's quite, uh, that's quite a story. Um, but, uh, yeah. uh, right, everybody, don't forget the, the May auction. Uh, do register your interest, cliveemerson.co.uk. We'll be back for more feature shows coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Yes, thanks, everyone. Bye. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> We've sold thousands of lots to people willing to exchange on the day and complete within 28 days. Property auctions made quick, easy and simple. Clive Emson Land and Property Auctioneers.